The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, um, Mr. Z, uh, <laughs> looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Louis. Uh, Mr. Z is asking a question. Any obtained uh, data uh, to the year 19? You know, that's really the only way I can get that uh, Z is through Jim Twentyman. It'll take me, I can get it today, but I'll, uh, I'll request it from him. But he's got all that data. We have it. We've had it on store for, had it in storage forever. But uh, it does have a very similar pattern to what we've had happen here. Things are happening really big in these markets, folks. I posted the DAX. I posted the FTSE. Very nice patterns. You can see that 15-minute head and shoulders in the DAX. Perfect symmetry, left shoulder, right shoulder, lower than the left shoulder. Perfect time symmetry. Beautiful ratios. That what we like to see. But here's the one we need to focus on here folks let me get this up here this is the weekly chart of the nasdaq folks now what's important here is the price that we just hit at fifteen thousand. that's down three standard deviations folks Folks, if we close below 15,000 in the NASDAQ, you don't want to be long stocks coming into Monday morning, uh, especially if it happens on a Friday. Uh, that's going to be really bad. The reason why I say that, we haven't seen anything like this since the year of you know what, 1987. I'm not going to spend a lot of time because we've got Joe DiNapoli as our guest today, and he precedes anything that we're doing here. But let me just show you here. Rich Anderson was kind enough to send this to me today. But this shows you the relationship of where we were in 1987. You see that low there. That was the low before. Uh, that was the low in May before we ran up into the July high up there at that double top. That happened on August the 25th. That was harmonic convergence. Five planets in the sign of uh, cancer. And the market broke down. You'll notice that second blue lead there that's where the 61 percent retracement came in on october the second and then you see the market came down that little uh, gold arrow there the last gold arrow on the on the 1987 chart was the open on friday i mean they said it opened unchanged but believe me it opened a whole lot lower than that uh, but you'll notice what we're doing now is there's our low here but if you look at the time relationships between these folks it's really quite amazing so the time relationships between those gold arrows and that blue ledge are the same and the rally back 35 trading days wow going to be interesting if we close lower than 15,000 either well if we close below below 15,000 in the nasdaq either today or tomorrow we could see something really dramatic now i know we don't know what's could happen and there's a lot of outliers of it maybe it won't happen i don't know but tomorrow's show i've got to, i'm going to cover some of the things that uh, i've found that might be interesting to you uh to take a look at it uh one of the things that we were watching last night for our 24 7 people we, we were watching for the uh, market to uh hold on just a second i'll get this up here if i can't hold on here's what we were looking at this is after the market closed. I sent this out so the folks could take a look at it. You'll see here that we were looking at a 382 retracement up there at 36,412. Uh, we were able to get filled on that this morning. And of course, what we've done now is we have taken that trade and we have put a break even stop. Where did I put that one at? Hello, operator. Hello, operator. I hope this is it. Yep, there we go. Hold on one second here. All right, here's where we are. And here, here's the problem that I have, folks. You got $2,000 profit near the bottom, okay? Uh, maybe that 127 is going to be important or not, but I'm playing for something bigger, so I'm going to put my stop at break even. You know, I don't know. I could be right. I could be wrong. But, you know, that's the way the game is played. All right, let's move on to something else that's important. Those of you that like 382, and I know some that, that love it and some that do, but let's take a look here at one of the markets that we watch really, really closely here.
uh, last night and yesterday. I want to show you the NASDAQ up here just to give you an example how powerful this can be. You can see the first rally yesterday right at the 382. That was on the 4th. Uh, now, the rally today, if we get it, comes in at 15,890. That's the rally. But we made a lower low, so that's going to be about 15,870. Somewhere that should be the 382 of that rally. Then we'll see whether that's the case uh, or not. We'll watch it very closely, as I always say. My code words, I guess. But I want to show you one other one that's very interesting that has been uh, very nice to us here. And that is the, this was the uh, gold market yesterday. I wanted to bring this up to you. Those of you that follow this, you'll notice that we went exactly, look at that, the exact 382, 1807. The high was 1807.40. And uh, we've come down now and we're heading towards 1769. That's the ABCD level on this. And so uh, gold continues to move uh, lower. So we're watching that one. Uh, we're, we're in some real interesting times, folks. When you see things that are happening in the NASDAQ, I mean, these are the biggest stocks, folks, the fang boys, you know. Uh, they're, the, there's the, they're the golden boys. Now, if the golden boys have trouble, what's going to happen when the silver boys and the copper boys and the wooden boys get in here? Uh, something is not right. Now, uh, the, there's, three, there's three potentials that I see that could be a problem. Number one is the bond market. We can see what's happening in bonds every day. It really, you know, it's it's an absolute disaster in the darn thing. So if you if you remind yourself that, that things can happen badly and 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 they can because uh, you know we didn't have anything going on badly in the, in 1987 yet we had a crash which turned out to be the greatest buying opportunity of the 1980s, folks. That crash in 87 stopped right at a 61 percent retracement of the 1982 low to the penny in the Dow. And the Dow was down 16% in one day. Now, multiply 16% times uh, 36,000. You're going to see the Dow, uh, you know, would be down over 5,000 points in one day. You know, that's equivalent to 200 grand in, a, in an E-mini contract, for heaven's sakes. Now, I don't know, but, you know, I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. You know, I, I don't know any more than that. That's uh, I, I believe me, folks, if you think I don't get a lot of flack for what I sent out on that, I mean, I did, but, you know, it's what I see. That's all I can tell you. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. All I know is I'm in risk-free, and that's all I care about. Now, let's take a look here at the gold one more time. I want you to see this is the GDX, okay? Now, it's really important here that this GDX does not get below that support down there at uh, 29 and change. I don't know where it's trading today, but it's important that it doesn't break below that level because should it break below that level, then you've got a major problem. So that's, uh, that's something that we've got to remind ourselves of that. And uh, I think it's really important to uh, keep that in mind because these markets, they went straight up. And we have to remember that markets come down faster than they grow up. And the reason why is fear is a greater emotion than greed. You know, greed, you're sitting there with euphoria. Oh, how do I spend? Do I buy a Porsche or do I buy a Ferrari? What do I, what do I buy? But with, with fear... You know, you're just basically trying to salvage everything. And these people that are in here, like the Robin Hood people, look what they've done to that Robin Hood stock, folks. 85 to 17 with no, with one tiny ABCD over the past seven months. One tiny ABCD. I mean, that's bearish stuff, boys and girls. Very bearish. Let's take a break. We got Mr. D. Napoli coming up, I hope. May God be willing. And she usually is. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Joe DiNapoli, Mr. Fib Trader himself. Joe, are you on the line? I'm here. Can you hear me? You're in the house. You've got the mic, and tell us what you're looking at today, my friend. Well, actually, um, I'll tell you what I'm looking at, but I just heard your comments, and uh, you were commenting on 1987. Isn't that correct? I think that was a year, yes. Yeah, it sure was. Um, I was playing that sucker. Anyway... There's one thing that that uh, that added to the uh, to the 1987 uh, debacle that uh, that went beyond fear, and that was lack of liquidity. Lack of liquidity that showed up in um, the the approximately October of 1986. That's that's when that lack of liquidity started to show up, and uh, that's what allowed me to make a prediction that we we're going to make a 500 point down. Move. I didn't know when it would happen, but I, I knew that it would happen. And that lack of liquidity exists today. And so mm -hmm. what you were saying about ha uh, the potential of having a, a dramatic, a very dramatic crash, I mean, this is what I was talking about when I was on the show, um, I think it was September 14th, something like that, mm -hmm. that this is the potential. And that what, what people need to do is understand that you know, you can make 4% on the upside and you can lose 60% on the downside. And uh, and if the worst comes to pass, I mean, we, we look at look at what's going on with Turkey. You know, if we if we lose our currency status, our reserve status, I'm looking at an 85% break. And um, I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm just saying that it is a real potential. And I'm floating. I, I mean, I got the the slides I could show you, but I'm I'm floating between 65 and 75 percent cash, and I'll I'll let inflation nibble away at me, and, and I'm willing to do that because I don't want to lose uh, I don't want to lose uh, 40, 30, 20, 50, 60 percent basically overnight. The one thing I've been happy about is that the market has been relatively has been relatively um, 
organized on its way down. We've gone down, we've gone back up, we've gone down, we've gone back up. You know, we haven't seen this six limit down days, <laughs> which could happen. No, we haven't We're seen any down limit down days. We, yeah, you're right. We've not seen a lock limit day. The people have no idea what fear is like. To, uh, Joe, you and I, know, we, we've been through these before, but many of these people don't know. And these limits are so big nowadays that it's, uh, it could scare a lot of people. And the wrong, you know, I, hey, I'm going to. Hey, I'm going to shut up and let the master talk. Please go ahead. I won't bother you no. anymore, my friend. Go right ahead. <laughs> no. No, look, you, you chime in anytime you want because, you know, I know your status, right? So so I'm not the only master in the house today. Hey, I'm um, sober today. Be, be kind to me. <laughs> I think I, we're the, I I think we're, we're, we're the only two Can traders that, that don't slide? drink. <laughs> Can you see the slide that's on there now? I think so. We sure can. Okay. Now, you, you wanted me to put up a recent picture because, um, you know, if I show up at your front door someday with that other picture, you wouldn't have recognized me. So there I am. Mm -hmm. If I come knocking, you'll know know who that guy is. Okay. That was taken, that was taken in um, mid-2019, before the pandemic. It was someplace in Europe I was speaking. And uh, so, so now you know what it'll look like. Still as handsome as ever. Oh, yeah, you're a sweetheart. Okay, so um, we're talking about uh, illiquidity, and we're talking about uh, today's market. So let's uh, let's continue on a little bit. Uh, a number of the people that I saw, uh, or rather, that contacted me after our, our last get together, I think it was December second. Uh, they, they were asking me why I put a cap on the on the break that I expect. If you remember, I said within five minutes, between five minutes and eight months. And people wanted to know, was there some some re reason? <laughs> I give myself a little room here. Was there yeah. some reason why you know you chose eight months? And that was because, in addition to liquidity risk, overvaluation risk, management risk which is the current administration, excessive debt risk, inflation risk. We also have the risk of violence. And um, this risk of violence is, uh, is, is real, and I want to get into it in, in just a minute. Uh, we're in three bubbles, real estate, equity, and bonds. I think real estate might be the only thing that survives. Now, there's risk of violence. Uh, I, I have the eight-month eight cap here because I think by, let's say, August of 2022, we're going to see uh, violence uh, relative to the midterm elections. You know, I don't think power is going to going to go from the left to the right without uh, serious issues, and so uh, I I want to be very careful about that. Also, I think both Russia and China see weakness in in the U.S. and that the the potential for them to make some moves between now and then is uh, is pretty real. I mean, I've I've been to both countries. I've been going to Russia since, geez, 19, probably 1990, and then China for the last 15, 20 years. Uh, Russia does not want NATO on its borders, and China is getting very irritated with the U.S., and I think they're going to want Taiwan back. And what really worries me is that uh, with these uh, poll numbers as bad as they are for the current administration, that uh, that uh, this current administration might do something really stupid in order to unify the country and get the poll numbers up. And anyway, I'm I'm worried about that. Now, way down here, we've got a chart up here of Raytheon, and way down near the bottom there at around uh, 79 area, we were talking about this on the forums, exact topics that we're bringing up right now. And uh, since then, we've had a, a tremendous rally. And the reason I bring up the forums is because we've got people from all over the world in these forums. We've got the Napoli experts from from Asia, from uh, from uh, Singapore, uh, Europe, South South Africa, uh, South America, and these people feed on the ground. You know, we're not subject to censorship. And what we've got some military people on there. And these people open up and they talk about what's going on and they give us some kind of an insight. Now, I don't know if Raytheon is back up again today. It took a little hit yesterday, but I think it was back up last I looked at it. And also, uh, uh, North, North of Grumman, uh, Grumman is doing 
uh, quite well. Uh, Boeing, one of my favorites, is also doing well. It's cons considered a defense stock. So I think it would be a really nice defensive position to grab some of this stuff and put it away for a long-term trade. And um, mm -hmm. hopefully some of the people on the forum got it near the most recent lows. Um, this is a fascinating uh, Dow yearly log chart we're looking at now. And I brought this up last time, Larry, if you remember. Uh, it was brought to my attention by uh, Peter Van White. He is a Napoli expert who... who uh, lives in South Africa. Very, very, very sharp guy. Uh, he does a newsletter for us. Uh, at any rate, I've added uh, a COP expansion onto this logarithmic chart. And even if somehow we manage to make new highs, we're going to bump right up against the COP expansion at uh, approximately 39,000. So I, I think the very best case scenario, I mean the, the, the t most terrific scenario that we could possibly see is going to be bouncing around between Dow 29 and 39,000. Okay, let's take a break here, Joe. We'll be right back with Joe DiNapoli. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're chatting with Joe DiNapoli, Fib Trader himself. You want to continue, my friend? Yeah. What we're looking at now is uh, the Dow monthly log chart stretched out. We just took the same chart that we're looking at before and stretched it out. And uh, just
just look at the accuracy of this thing. I mean, it is just amazing how the COP, OP, and XOP. The XOP was right at the top of the market before we had the uh, the, the pandemic uh, issue come up. And now, of course, we're up. We've exceeded that top. And uh, the chart I just showed you showed the upper end of this at 39000 That's really the upper end. And uh, I expect one of the things we teach is revisits of these uh, of these nodes and the XLP was quite an amazing node. I mean, it, it, it was it was an amazing high. So um, we've gone through it and now when we revisit that, there's going to be a lot of support. If that sucker doesn't hold, we're in you know deep doo doo, as somebody used to say. But I expect some bouncing around between those two levels, and that's about that's about uh, the, the best we can expect. This is a non-log chart of the Dow, and we broke the MACD predictor on the monthly chart. This is typically a very bearish uh, signal, and we both broke that a little while back. And um, um, this MACD predictor was described in the last uh, last segment. I think it was on December 2nd. It's a very important indicator, and uh, if you're interested in it, you should hear about its derivation, but I don't want to get into that today. You have too much else to cover. Now, on a non-log chart, notice that we have an XOP and an OP. They're coming in uh, in what we call agreement with one another, and that's at approximately 37, down 37,000. So I don't think we're going to exceed that point, but uh, but that's uh, that's there, and we could always go back up and test that. Uh, I like to see the market, you know, move back and forth. I don't want to see, you know, uh, limit down days that we were talking about, Larry, you know, one after the other, and I really believe that that's a possibility. I mean, imagine if uh, if uh, Biden decides to use a, a tactical nuclear weapon against uh, Russians coming across the uh, Ukraine border. I mean, you know, these these things are all possibilities <laughs> given the given the management we now have. So um, we almost got up to that uh, to that area. I don't know what the high was, but it was close enough to those two levels where we really don't want to uh, uh, we we don't want to be long up here. We want we want to be the, uh, we want to be only buying deep dips on specialized uh, stocks and specialized areas. Um, I'm not going to go through my uh, my my current position too much. Uh, yesterday I was back up to about 75% cash. This morning I got into quite a few things and probably down around 65% now. And if you buy stuff right, I think every single thing I got into this morning uh, is up now. It may not be up by much, but it's all up. And that's why, you know, knowing where to buy this stuff is so important. You, know, you just don't want to get excited and buy on, on breakouts. At least I don't. Let's take a look at some of these second tier speculative stocks that have been in the news for a while and are just doing terrible. Look at this T-Doc. OK, this. Uh, by the way, I own a little bit of that. One of the things I got this morning, and I believe it's up uh, for me anyway, where I got in. I got in on a on a. A D level from a, a lower time frame. I believe it was a, a daily or a weekly chart, and I've had a sitting resting order at this level. It's in the low 80s, and I've had it in there for months. And because you can get these, that's what a leading indicator does. You get these numbers ahead of time. So I just got a fill this morning, and uh, even though the chart looks terrible, I expect some kind of a bounce. The point is that these things are just <laughs> they're just coming apart. And it's indicative of what the markets have to do. Oh yeah, there there is a, a weekly. There's a buy in T doc at around seventy two to to seventy. So I will add to my position down there if I uh, if uh, if I don't you know get out first. Um, uh, Stein, uh, this is a this is actually a pretty good stock. I like it a lot, but it's just falling apart. It's just it just it just continues to go down. You know, one of these high PE ratio. Things that's I believe it's in those arc funds, um, and and then these can continue to fall. Look at Zoom. Zoom's going to be I'm going to be getting long Zoom at around 117. You can see the XOP down there. But these things I showed you all these things um, several times actually December 2nd certainly if that was the day I was on, and uh, they're all lower. And uh, they're going to bounce at, at the right areas, but uh, mm -hmm. they're going to they're going to go lower. And uh, where are we now? Oh, yeah, QuantumScape. I'd like to buy that at around 8. We're at 132.73. 
And I'm looking to buy this thing at 9, 905, 907, somewhere in that area. Uh, will it get there? I don't know. Uh, but if it gets there, I'm willing to get <coughs> Now, Twitter, this is an interesting stock. I think Twitter's done. I think that the social media, the Twitters, the uh, censorship stocks, uh, they, they, they finally, they, they went too far. And there was an actual day when that happened. And that day, it, it goes in with the uh, corporate news media, the CNNs of the world, MSNBC, et cetera. That day happened when Joe Rogan interviewed uh, Sanjay Gupta, and they, they said that uh, Joe Rogan was taking horse tranquilizers. You know, and he it pissed him off. And since then, he's been he's had a lot of very high level experts on there. And uh, people have just seen the, the level of censorship and the level of uh, it's just so disgusting what's going on. You know, I would, I've spent a lot of time in China. You know, so I, <laughs> we thought China was going to become like us, favored, uh, favored trading status, you know, all that. We've we become like China. So anyway, uh, people have woken up. I think Twitter is in real trouble. And I'm trying to decide whether I'd be willing to buy it down around 22 or not, because it's sort of against my morals. But, you know, we all do things that are against our morals. We can make money to some degree. So that's Twitter. I think the same thing with Facebook. Not so much with Google. I like Google. Uh, but Google took a hit yesterday. Amazon did. And so there's buy points in all these stocks. And those buy points should work out well. There's Amazon. Um, I have an order in to buy Amazon down at that XOP at around the 2795. So there's places to buy these things. Take a look at BABA. Man, this stock has been decimated. You know, I, I hope uh, Warren Buffett's sidekick managed to get out of his massive position in BABA because this thing has just been killed. And I am willing to, I'm a willing buyer down there around 99. You see, when you're sitting in it, you're sitting in 70 uh, percent cash you can you can afford to take some risks and move that up to 65 or 60 or whatever and um, uh, I'm willing to take a shot at it I did buy uh, jd.com yesterday or the day before yesterday and I, I'm in profits in that um, we we're talking I heard I heard you uh, Larry mention uh, Robin Hood it's actually a buy point it's 1572 and I haven't bought it yet but I'm thinking about adding that I bought up six or seven stocks this, this morning mm -hmm. um, this is an example these numbers aren't good this is an old slide it's an example of what my accounts look like I mean right now this is just one account I have got at least 40 buy orders in deep buy orders in and they and they tick off at the appropriate places and all those places are at appropriately labeled numbered calculated d levels hey stay with us joe we'll have you back after the break we've got to pay a few bills joe denapoli fibtrader.com folks we'll be right back Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for valued tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're chatting with Joe DiNapoli. Would you like to continue, young man? Will do. Young man, boy, you're buttering me up for something. I don't know what here. Hey, you're younger than me. Everybody's younger than me. I can't believe yeah, how many... Well. Yeah, I think you're healthier <laughs> than I am. Well, everybody's healthier than you. You eat like a you eat like a billy goat for crying out loud. You go out in the front yard and have grass for a salad for heaven's sakes. You know, I, I, when's the last time you had a piece of meat? About 1974. No, actually, I had a little bit last night. Oh, okay. Well, it's hard. What well, must be impossible meat or one of those synthetic jobs, right? <laughs> no, I eat real meat. We won't get into that. I, think that's, I knew you when you were normal, show, Bubba. Right? <laughs> I just, I All just right, wish so we, I wish we were at Oprah's having some good Italian food over in Bangkok. Oh, that's you know, yeah, I love well, that place. That, uh, we're communicating because. Uh, you know, I was just thinking of Oprah. I was thinking about you sitting across the table from me and how many uh, good times we had there. You know, my trip got canceled back there. I was due to go on the 21st, and they uh -huh. they reinstituted the instituted the the quarantine, and so uh, I'm not going to go back there and sit in a hotel for a week. No. So, go okay. ahead, my friend. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, I want to. You know, let everybody in on the beauty of, of this approach. I mean, if you look at this, I've got 40 orders in there, and I've got them in at the right number. Now, the trick is knowing where the right numbers are. It's not that difficult. I've got a book that tells you what to do. Okay, yeah, yeah, so... You, How, someone told me that thing was printed in two languages. Is that true? Yeah, actually, it's printed. Uh, it was reprinted in about 14 languages. Uh, Shut the front last, door and raise the rent. Wow. Can you believe it? I mean, we've got uh, Russia, we've got China, we've got uh, Germany, we've got France, we've got a couple of countries in, in uh, South America. I, I've forgotten all the languages this thing's been printed in. And, uh, you know, it's the only book I've written. So, um, you know, it's, I'm happy that it was uh, accepted as well. as It's a good book. I mean, it's it's not. Well, sure. It, you wouldn't be selling it if it wasn't a good book. <laughs> well, it, absolutely. And, it's it, yeah. you know, they cannot keep it. They can, we've limited the number of copies that can be printed in China at one time to 3,000 copies. So when they print the 3,000 copies, it's like, poof, they're gone. And then, poof, they're gone when they print another 3,000. And they have to wait so many months between prints. So, uh, you know, it's worked out good. Uh, I don't know. It makes me feel good to be able to help so many people, actually. And, of course, there's income to me, and, and it's passive income, and I like that. So um, the idea is you get these numbers. Like yesterday, I'm down. I got a shop here at my house. I got everything. Welders. I got, I got all equipment you could possibly want in, in an auto shop, and I restore classic cars. So yesterday, I'm working on my 66 Ford F-250. And uh, 
as the market is falling, you know, I've got these numbers in there. They're where they're, where, where they're supposed to be. And I don't have to have my nose pressed up against the screen. I get a feel. I'm happy. I look at it. Do I want to keep it? Don't I want to keep it? Am I going to get out? I calculate an objective. I put that in the market. That's that simple. I mean, this is not rocket science. So um, let's go on. Let's talk about gold. You were talking about gold earlier. And I want to show you where I did take a little profit on my gold position, although I'm still holding most of it. Um, I want to show you what you want to see in gold, and it hasn't happened. We've been in a sideways pattern. Notice that we have uh, these XOPs on the uh, GLD. This is the paper gold ETF. We had this resistance level up here at 178.56, 178.25. What we want to see and what we did not see is a push right through that sucker. I mean, just blow right through there, come back, settle on it, and then continue on. This is this is what we need to see for gold to, to get ex excited uh, and go up to three thousand. You know, go up to three thousand, five thousand, whatever it's going to go to. You need to see this kind of action. At a minimum, you need to see it come up and hit the XLP, which we didn't even do. I mean, gold can't get out of its own way. So this was would be the second thing you'd like to see in gold, which didn't happen. All right, and since it didn't happen, what we did is we drifted back down. Now we're going back up, and there's really no, there's just no tape reading uh, advantage to uh, to gold. And by tape reading, I mean get if you haven't gotten Jesse Livermore's book, uh, Reminiscences of a Stock Trader, you know that is an absolute must read for everybody. It's a must study. I usually go over that about every two years. I reread it, and I find something in that book all the time that uh, that is a benefit to me. And what this guy was able to do was read the tape. And I spent 50 years of trading in, in front of the screens, you know, short-term trading, and I'm able to read the tape. These interpretations of, uh, these interpretations of uh, how things are, how things work around these D levels are critical to knowing whether you, you really want to stay in a position for a long-term trade of six months to three years, or whether you want to get out in, in six seconds to three minutes. <clears throat> now, I think Larry, you're going to find this fascinating. Maybe you do it already. We, you know, the folks don't realize we don't we don't talk about the markets before I'm on the show to keep it fresh. But this is actually a gold ETF uh, uh, ratio with Bitcoin, and we have come down to a, to an OP support level. Now, people, you're going to understand. The listeners need to understand that there are large money concerns out there that watch these spreads. The spread between the uh, NASDAQ and the E-mini work that way. I've made so much money on that. It's just a matter of watching these spreads and, and running these uh, Denapoli levels on the spreads. And right now, with the gold uh, Bitcoin spread, we're at support. If gold had any reason to rally, now would be, this gives it a reason. This should create a rally in gold. So far, it's just uh, really hasn't. If you do the uh, gold futures on a ratio divided by the uh, E-mini, then you'll notice that we're down in the XOP at 3904. Here's another reason that we really should see a rally in gold. It ain't happening. So what that's telling me is there's something wrong with the gold market, obviously. I mean, let, I still hold. That's my biggest position, actually. My biggest single position is gold. And I'm, I still have some faith it's going to go up. But it's mostly held as an insurance company. Uh, I mean, we'll get six limit down days. Uh, six limit down days. We get that. You better believe gold's going to move. And so it's an insurance policy for me. And that way I can play with the other, you know, 25% or whatever it is in my account and, and feel safe that if an absolute disaster happens, that I'm going to be okay. Now, um, this is a very interesting chart. Uh, last time we were cut a little short on time, so I didn't have a chance to really discuss it. But when we had the fall in the pandemic, the fall in the markets, uh, this is this is a, a Boeing weekly, and we see the thrust down. If you do a Fibonacci uh, 0.382 from the low back up to the high when we had that break back in March of 2020, you're going to get a... Uh, 0.382 retracement level at approximately 188. Now, when you revisit that level, it is an incredibly good place to, to be a buyer. And I have uh, definitely been a buyer in, uh, in uh, where the hell did I go now? I have definitely been a buyer in, uh, in Boeing 
uh, at that level. I'm going to show you more on Boeing in just a minute. Somehow Bitcoin futures got in here. And uh, Bitcoin. Joe, we got to take music. a quick break. We got two more minutes. Right, so take, and we'll be right back with Joe DiNapoli, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, finishing up with Joe DiNapoli. Joe, do you want to give a minute here to tell the folks how they can reach you and uh, maybe have a special offer for a post-Christmas uh, deal or something? Yeah, how much time we got left? Uh, you got two minutes. All right, so before I, I give my book a plug, uh, let's just take a quick look at the, this Bitcoin futures uh, on a monthly chart. Uh, to my thinking, I've been very skeptical on Bitcoin. To my thinking... Uh, it's hit it's hit critical mass, you know, just like I was talking about Joe Rogan a while ago. For me, this thing is become a, an asset class, and I want to be a buyer on this thing at the OP down around that thirty two hundred level. If uh, if we if this goes through the quarterly MACD, then um, we're going to see ten thousand. But right now, it's only gone through the monthly MACD. I'm going to be a buyer. I'm going to be a holder of this as an asset. It's finally hit critical uh, mass for me. So let's uh, let's go down to um, to my book and give it a little bit of a plug. It, it's actually not going to change my lifestyle any if you buy the book, but it might change yours. You can get it for ninety nine dollars for the next few days till January 9th. Um, if you want to 
go to uh, Amazon, you can pay 162. Either way, the shipping's free. Uh, 60 days free on the client forums, and uh, you just go to the fibtrader.com page or order page, a miscellaneous section, put in Tommy, that way you can get the discount. Uh, I'm going to try to get back get back uh, to um, – there's that the, – you can just – when they, when it ends, just pull me off like with one of those hooks on stage, Larry. <laughs> um, uh, the, here's, the, here's what's happened to BA after it hit that revisit. I mean, it was just an absolutely beautiful trade. And I, I like this. I like all the airlines. Notice they're not going down like the other stuff is. And I can't, I can't get my fills, which means that they're good. They're strong. And so uh, I'm, I'm a buyer. Um, I think this Omicron thing is going to end up to, to, to be a great deal because uh, high. Okay. Looks like the end. This is all it. Right, we'll, see, friend. we'll see you in a few weeks, my friend. May God bless and be safe. Hey, listen, I love you, buddy. Bet. You Say too. hello to Peppermint Patty for me. Will Joe Donapoli, folks. See you tomorrow. May God bless. Our guest will be Jim Bost. 